What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and this is a vlogzilla. Like the title uh, implies here, I'm going to be talking about why I'm not getting the Blitzway Voltron and why that's okay. Um, first and foremost, I'm going to lay it right down right now. It's very super simple. The bottom line is, from what I've seen of the Blitzway Voltron, uh, and you guys know I've done a video just dedicated to looking at it, um, studying it, it's not better than the Soul Chogokin. For me, it is not better. And I want to point that out, like, right away. For me, it is not better than the Soul of Chogokin Voltron here. Um, this is my all-time favorite toy in my collection. Uh, I knew it was going to be uh, as soon as I got it and opened it. I was just so in love with it, you know, through my review of it. And, uh, you know, and as time has gone on, it's just, it's just great. I just absolutely love it. This is like, to me, one of, and it's a simple engineering thing, but like, to me, it's one of Bandai's best engineering feats. It's just awesome. Now, the Blitzway Voltron does a lot of good things. There's no doubt about it. There's uh, things that it does that this guy doesn't do. It gives you the covers for that, you know, animation accuracy, even though it's not animation accurate, in my eyes. I'm gonna keep pointing that out because this is me talking about my feelings about it. Um, it has lights, great. Um, it has uh, some cool features for the lions, like the flying features and stuff, awesome. Let me tell you a couple things about those two items, even though they are awesome and I do admit they are awesome. And why, I, you know, it factors in to my decision here. Lights are gonna be used, like what, once? I'll use it during a review. I mean, go back to uh, my review of the Titan Power Voltron, the first one. Like my lights are busted. Um, this is a much higher end item um, than that. And you ex would expect it to work. But what if it doesn't, you know? When you get to a certain price point, anything that goes wrong is a big deal. Anything over 500 bucks, anything is gonna be a big deal. So even like one light being out is gonna be annoying. Uh, the other thing with the cool things with the, the lions, how many people are gonna display uh, a $700 Blitzway Voltron as lions? The lions look great. I love them. I would never, ever display that as the lions because if you're going to spend that much money on a Voltron, you better be displaying it as Voltron because that is the brand. Uh, now, I do have some lions displayed because I love lions, but I have a lot of different Voltrons I can display as that. And, you know, they're not the highest end item thing. Although, you know, the... Um, the Toynami 30, 25th anniversary, whatever it was, 30th anniversary one, is, is, was pricey, you know, but that's a good one to display as lions. 700 bucks, I'm not displaying it as lions, so, uh, any of those extras are cool, like, one time around. How many people are gonna be taking apart and putting back together a $700 Voltron? Now, I say 700 bucks, but... It's not 700 bucks everywhere, right? Um, you know, depending on where you get, you're going to get some deals. I've seen it as low as 600 bucks, uh, which is very cool. Uh, I'm not talking about where you could buy it. Guys, you know, you do your research. <laughs> you know, like, there's many places to buy Vol uh, this Voltron. Uh, it is carried by Bluefin, so any store that carries Tamashi products will carry the Blitzway Voltron as well because it's coming through Bluefin. So that's all you really need to know. Type it into the Google, you know, shop around, do your best shopping. Uh, one thing I have to mention here, um, I was getting a very good deal on it. 
you know uh so i had the opportunity to get it at a very good price and i've passed on it so that's the point of this right that i've passed on it. i made that decision early this week um that i was going to pass on it now price is a big deal it's a huge deal like even for the price i was getting it at it's like i could get a, a ton of other stuff with that money will it be as good as the bliss wave ultron probably not but here's something you got to remember with me um i'm a very very diverse collector i don't only collect voltron i don't only collect godzilla i don't only collect power rangers or transformers uh, though those are probably the, the things i have the most things of super robots i have a lot of super robots you know like i have a, a ultraman stuff obviously ultrazilla right like i have a ton of stuff and then i have a ton of other stuff on top of that you know so i collect a lot of different things i always have um and that's got to factor into it you know like if i spend that much on one item it takes away from so many other things because let's be honest like that we're i'm not rich here i'm far from rich i'm in debt and um be partly because of this you know like that's a big deal at some point you gotta be like i, I can't possibly do that in good conscience and get other stuff and i need to get other stuff because i have an ultrazilla to feed um if I get one Blitzway Voltron, that's like a couple of weeks worth of reviews that I've just sacrificed, maybe. So, um, maybe more. Like, I don't know. Like, but that has to be factored in there as well. Guys, I, I you know, despite what you might have heard, we're still in a pandemic and it's getting worse again. Um, that uncertainty is a big deal. You know, like, a very big deal as far as jobs go, as far as, uh, you know, just the world goes. So, I I don't want to commit to that. Um, and those factors are huge. They weigh huge on me. Um, but, I gotta tell you, like, and I mentioned it during that video where I talked about it. Uh, that Ultra Z News special. I, there's something aesthetically about the Blitzway Voltron that I personally do not like. Um, I don't like the head. I don't like the head sculpt. I think the ears are absurdly huge. The face is scrunched. And the, the body looks pretty good. But the head on top of that body looks too small to me. But it's, it's weird because it's like the outer part of the body, the head is like huge. Um, the lion part, like the, with the ears, like. And if I do not like that fat part of it, it's a big part of it because you got to look at that thing. Um, I can't commit to it. Like, it's something I would love to review. And you know what? I would say this, if it was cheaper, I'd probably like, you know, if it was under 500 bucks, I'd be like, sure, whatever. Like, let's do it, you know? Um, but that factor, factored into the price, it's like, man, I don't know. Like, if, if I'm gonna spend that much, shouldn't it make me go, oh my God, that is, that, I'm sorry, SOC. But that's taking your place as the best Voltron in the collection. But if I can't say that just from these picks, I I can't commit that kind of money to it. Um, you guys, whoever is getting it, that is fantastic. You don't have to think the same way I do. We are not the same person. Um, but as a guy that has a ton of Voltrons, and that's one thing that bothers me uh, to my reaction from this, because I've, I've talked about this before with people, 
there's people that say, oh, you must not be a hardcore fan. I'm, I'm a pretty big fan. But like I said, I'm a fan of a lot of things. Um, but Voltron is something I'm hugely, hugely into. I have like 50 Voltrons just like sitting back here in this case. Like, don't really, you can't say because I don't want to get this that I'm not a huge Voltron fan. Don't let anybody ever tell you you're not a huge fan of something. You know, like, uh, I, I think that's, that's crazy. That they're just trying to justify something for themselves because they've heard something that is questioning, you know, the thing that they're putting a ton of money into. And I know that th that's going to be the reaction to this video as well. Um, but that's partly why I'm making this because, like, I just want to tell you guys my reasons for it as a huge Voltron fan. Um, but also as someone that collects a lot of things and has a channel to feed and has a family to feed. Um, so... You know, where does that money best, where is that money best served, right? It's not in a Voltron that I can't, I, I can't, I'm not loving aesthetically. Like, I like it more as the lions. And like I said, I would never display something I spent this much money on as the lions. Like, that's secondary to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's one of those weird things where... Uh, I just can't do it. And, you know, right back to the start here. If I'm going to get something that's that price, that's basically a DX Voltron, like, I should like it more than this guy. I really should. It should, you know, like, at the end of the day, stand up and say, sorry, SOC Voltron, you're a second banana. And I look at this, and I look at that, and it's not in hand, and that's fine. I get it, but I don't see it. I, I have to make a decision, and I've had this argument with people, you know, like, you can't really uh, disparage something that you are not getting. However, I'm not really disparaging it. I'm just telling you my reasons for not getting I am putting my... I'm not putting my money <laughs> into it, and I'm telling you why. You know, like, that's my reasoning. Uh, so why make this video? Why not just, like, you know, just who cares? Um, you know, what does that have to do with you? Nothing. Nothing. Except, as a huge Voltron fan, as a channel that's had a ton of Voltron on the channel, um, I want to let you know why you're probably not going to see it on this channel unless Blitzway or Bluefin decide, you know, find out about me and um, decide to send me one for a review, which I doubt because that's hugely expensive. Um, then uh, it's, it's not something I'm going to be featuring on this channel. It's unfortunate. I would have loved to have done it, but all those factors involved I just can't put the money into it. Uh, I really can't, you know, it's just, it it wouldn't be fair to the rest of the channel, to my family, to myself, you know, like I'd be like, I'd be lying to how I actually feel about it. It's not blowing me away. Um, and maybe, and maybe there'll be a Bandai Deluxe at some point, and maybe that one will blow me away. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying I wouldn't spend the money on a vault. If anything is going to, and I've said this before, if anything is going to get me to spend that kind of money, it's going to probably be a Voltron. But it's also got to make me, like, it's got to blow me away. Like, it's it's got to do something for me. Um, and I got to say, the Blitzway Voltron doesn't do it for me, guys. It it doesn't. I see it. And you know what? People have said you're going to regret it if you don't get it. And they're getting it because they're going to regret not getting it. I, I hope you're saying that because you think it looks awesome, you know, and not because 
you don't you don't want to regret it later because it was it's going to be worth so much money and stuff like that that is not a a, a reason for me personally to ever get anything uh, i do not care about that i will not be going out seeking for it because it is come at a time in my life where that stuff doesn't bother me anymore like i'm more like at this point in my life, I really would love to get some older pieces from when I was a kid. Those are the grails for me. You know, like Matchbox Voltron still, the, the, the bigger one. You know, like that still is huge on my list to get, you know. The Toy no no, not Toy Nami, sorry. The uh, Shogun Warriors Godzilla, though, that would be something I want to get again, you know, because I had it as a kid. Like, that's the stuff I would put money into, uh, and it would, like, do something for me, like, within, you know what I'm saying? Like, that you can't put, like, dollar amount on. This, this is a dollar amount, and it's not doing it for me at this point in my life, where I am a fully formed adult, where I know what I like. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, it's, it's definitely not something I need, and uh, I hope you get it. I hope you understand it. And I hope you get why I did this video. Like, I just wanted to address that because there's going to be folks that ask me if I'm going to be reviewing it. They already have. And I've gotten into this conversation and argument, really, in a bunch of different places across the web. And uh, e either here on YouTube or on Facebook and even on Twitter. Like, I, I don't see it. Personally, I don't see it for that price. It's big, it's bigger than this, that's awesome, but bigger, more expensive, to me, doesn't always equate to being better. It's gotta like, do it for you right away, or it's just like, not worth it. And for me, this guy is tops. Um, I just love everything about it, it is awesome. Uh, and this is as is, I know people have like, upgraded the legs to make them like, chromey and stuff, and make it a little taller I, I i didn't need to do that either like i didn't i had no this is perfection to me this is voltron perfection to me and when you achieve that and you know it like you're good and i'm good guys i'm good <laughs> okay um so there you have it that's my vlogzilla Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. And if you please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Be nice in the comments. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.